The seance was recorded on June the 2nd, 1982, medium Leslie Flynn. Come on, Mickey, say hello. hello. No, come on now. Mickey? I can hear me. Honey, yes. I'm not quite sure if I'm on a proper vibration, yes. but I'm trying my best. You're doing well. <laughs> Shut up, Sneakin. Someone else can keep quiet. He makes a lot of funny noises. Mm. What, your Liz? Not yet, not your. No. <laughs> There's a lot of people here. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And that bloke was a Harry. I'm here, thank you. I know you're there. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Very well, thank you. What's wrong with your machine? I don't know, it gives me a queer noise. Can you, can you do it about it? Oh, I'm not a technician, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I got my job cut out doing what I'm doing, mate, without worrying about your machine. <laughs> I wish I could, but I can't. But there's something wrong with it. Yeah, I can understand that. <laughs> By the way, you've been given... What did you say? Been a doctor with you ever since you arrived. Yes, thank you. Are you all right, aren't you? Well, I'm a lot better now, thanks. So I was. Because this doctor bloke says that um, he's very pleased with you, but evidently you've had a rough time. Yes. But you've come out of it all right, mate. Thank you. And you're not coming here yet. <laughs> oh, no, no. I've got oh, no oh. trouble now without you coming. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Well, I won't know. What am I going to do when I'm down here? It keeps puzzling me, you know. Why? I don't know. I can't seem to uh, get a line in anything what I'm intended to do. I try to help people, but it doesn't seem to work. What makes you think it don't work? Well, it must be my mind. I get a little disappointed sometimes over it. There's a lot of psychic power and, and a lot of help being given you. Thank and you. they're keeping you going because they want you and you will, in your own little way, do service. Have you been doing something with the church? Yes. Have you been spouting? <laughs> <laughs> well, but I do now again. Because they tell me that although you probably don't think of yourself in a sense as a medium, uh, in a trance or anything, they say they've been impressing you at times with some of the things that, that you have to say. And you've done a bit of spouting. Have you sort of been taking the chair? Well, I do a reading on the, on the platform, yes. You do a reading? Mm -hmm. And I try to uh, put it this way, in my, my mind, when I give a reading, I try to sow the seed to help somebody who doesn't understand. Well, they seem very pleased with you, okay. although you may be disappointed with yourself, mate. And I think you have a place to fill. Everybody can do something, and you mustn't feel that you're not making a contribution. They're very anxious that you should feel that, well, they're pleased with you. Do you think I'm a bit too greedy? Too what? Too greedy. Well, everybody's too greedy, mate. <laughs> well, so what way do you mean? Well, what I mean, I want a bit of everything. I want the communication, I want the healing, I want everything to help everybody. And I wonder sometimes if spirit thinks I'm a bit too greedy. Well, mate, you can still be greedy from your own attitude and mind, mate. That doesn't necessarily mean to say it's going to work. Oh, no, no. <laughs> and uh, the point is, you have to have what you get. And there's no good worrying about it. 
let them use you in the way in which they feel best uh, they're able to do it. Oh. It's no good you sitting there and saying, I want this and I want that, because oh, you want to bleed and get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to realise that, Mickey. Oh, you got to laugh it. Some people got funny ideas, don't they? You know, you think, because we kick the bucket, they all float around playing ops. <laughs> but we ain't all that different. Of course, when I come down to you lot, you know, I enter the old material and all that. To some extent, I'm affected by it. But, you know, I do my best so you can't prove... Well, you can't help everybody, but you know what people are like. People get this idea, you know, that, oh, you know, like some of them mediums, they give you the willies, do they? Oh, you know, bless your friend, you know, I've got a very high plane. Well, <laughs> gives you the pip. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there are people on a high spiritual level. I'll be the first to admit it. And one should always try to tune in. But the point is that you've got to realise that we have to work under circumstances sometimes which are not exactly easy. And people sometimes have to transmit their message through somebody else's agency, somebody on the sphere near the earth. Anyway, we'll do the best we can. Hold on. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, Barley! Hello. How are you, girl? I'm fine, thanks. Well, you're not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Billy's here. Billy? Yeah, but uh, I know this sounds weird, but there's, I kind of laughing. There's a woman here, and she says that, that they used to sometimes call her Billy. Oh, I can't oh, remember who that is. Now, wait a minute, we'll find out. She's pushed her way in. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not English. I think she's German or something. I would have just said, no, she couldn't be German, could she? <laughs> Says her name is what I mean. Okay. And, That's Dutch. Sometimes called her Billy. Hey, what did you two want? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I have been here a long time, huh? I tried very hard to come. Hello, yes, Maria. Hello. Hello. My name is Maria. Oh, Maria. I yes. have been waiting, you know, for an opportunity to come and talk with you. Oh, Maria you. Teresa, I want you to know, my friends, that I am trying to do everything in my power to help in the circle. Hello. Oh, yes. Hello. 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 I don't know if you can hear me. We can hear I you. I am trying, you know, very hard, you know. Really this is not me. easy for me to talk in this way. But I just want you to know that we are all together here, working together, trying very hard, you know. And the circle, we want you to have patience, not to lose heart. We are doing everything that we can. I am sure you will realize this, huh? Oh, hello, oh, hello. 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 Do you mean our circle back in Yarmouth? I just want you to know we are very thrilled for it, you know. Yeah. And Monsieur Leslie is here too. Oh, that's nice. Yes. And he sent his blessing to your child. Thank you. Uh, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Yes. Andrew is here too. Who? Andrew. Andrew? Oui. He comes for me, Sir Harry. Thank you. Monsieur Harry? Yes. Andrew is here. He wants to talk to you, please. Right, thank Moment. you. Moment. It's all right as far as I'm concerned, but I'm not quite sure as to whether you can hear what I see. I can hear you, Andrew. I, I've been standing here waiting for an opportunity to have a few words. Thank you. But I just want you to know that for many a year now, on this side of life, it has been my ambition and my desire, you know, to be able to do some work of the speed to help. And I've been around you for quite a while now, and I'm here with the doctor now. Can you hear what I say? Yes, I can hear what you say, Andrew. Aye. You're the gentleman who came in the circle, aren't you? Aye. Uh, about two or three years ago. Aye. Yeah. 
And I just want you to know that all of us here, not only for you, but for each one of you here, are very anxious that you should develop a part of spirit. And some of you perhaps get a wee bit disheartened about things, but each one of you got work to do. Each one of you can do the work of spirit in some way or another. And as for you, Harry, you no need to worry. I know you've had a bad patch. But you're all right now. Fritz is here, and he's a great soul too, and the doctor here. But we're all here together, all as one group and one band, trying to help you. You know that. Can you yes. hear what I say? Yes, I can hear what you say, Andrew. Thank you. It sounds like a Scotsman. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm. If you ask questions, you know, you get some answers. It's up to you, lot. Here, yeah. what have you got your shoes off for? That's <laughs> <laughs> <Bless> the feet. <laughs> you see in the dark, you know. Yeah. It was hot. <laughs> yes, I've got a blister on my toe, Mickey. Got a what? A blister. Why, well, how do you do that, mate? Them shoes no good. Well, they're good shoes. There's just a lot of walking in the heat, I think. Oh, of course you're getting on a bit, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 that's a good one. Well, I, I don't mean that rude-like, but, no, um, no. <coughs> you know, um, you can't... Well, never mind. But, yeah. Because <laughs> you're a healer, aren't you? Well, I'd like to think so, Mickey. What do you mean you'd like to think so? You know so. Thank you. It's no good being half-hearted about it, you know, no, mate. You no. might as well back it in. No, but it's not for me to say. All right, okie-doke, bless your heart, but... The point is that you know you have some wonderful helpers and they're working with you and through you and you are laying on hands and you are helping. Of course you won't cure everybody. No. I mean if everybody got cured, where would we be? Yes, yes. I mean you get some of these people, they give you the pip, you know. And they say, oh, you know, they, they do this, well, all right, you do that, but you won't cure everybody, mate. No, we know that. Know but that. you'll have some successes and you'll have some that will be alleviated yes. and others who, of course, will kick the bucket. But um, there comes a time when everyone's got to kick the bucket. That's right. And sometimes people say, why do you say kick the bucket? Well, pick out then. That couple by the Joanna. You two, have you got a nipper? No. Eh? No. Uh, what in spirit? No, someone is talking about a child in connection. Well, there's, there is two children connected with us. Do There is two children connected with us. Yeah, on Earth? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I didn't mean over here, mate. Well, they're connected, sort Aye? of, yeah. <coughs> Wait a minute. Have you been concerned about one child? Yes. Because there's someone here pushing in saying, you've had a bit of a problem and you've been a bit concerned. But they say, don't worry, things are improving. Yes, I feel this is so... And good. things aren't as bad as you perhaps think. Is it, um... Oh, no, I don't know how to put this. <laughs> is it to do with associations? Uh, if I read you right, yes. Influences? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Outside influences? Yeah. Are you a bit concerned about other people influencing? Yes, up to a point. Yes, you're correct. Hold on, I'll get this sorted out. Can you two sit in a circle? We used to. Hey? Used to. Can't hear ya. We used to. <laughs> what do you mean you used to? Can't you do it now then? Well, we decided to leave because we, we were very muddled in our minds. You were what? Very muddled. From what? different other influences. And we decided... You mean you didn't pull your feet in? Partly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only partly. It's very complicated. Do what? It's very complicated. Well, I don't want to say the wrong thing, and there's no way to stick my neck out. And I'm quite sure you're both very sincere and all that, but I don't know why how, how to put this, but... Um, It's very difficult, but all I want to say to you is that there is work that they want you to do from this side, and you mustn't... Um, well, we haven't given up, Mickey. We no. can sit and meditate and send Yes, I know, course. but I feel I have to say this to you, that they do want you to be associated with another group, or they want you to either form one <laughs> or to link up, because I think there's work that they want you to do, spiritual work, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, well, you've just said something in that last sentence which we can take. I do what? You've just said something in that last sentence which we can take, and we thank you. Yeah, have you? I don't know if I'm sticking my neck out. Well, stick do you know anything <laughs> about a bungalow? A bungalow? A bungalow? Oh, that's a bit vague, Nicky. What? That's a bit vague. Yeah, I'm sorry if it's vague, but there's somebody here connected with you two, and they're talking about a bungalow. I'd like one. Uh, no, no, it's not, no, it's not quite what it seems. Hold on. <clears throat> Did you have some association with some people who had a bungalow? Oh, let me think. You painted our bungalow, though. Oh, strong. Oh, yeah. Yes, I painted John and Joe's bungalow for them. If you mean directly, not... Do what? If you mean not too far back in the past. Well, no, it's fairly recent, otherwise, yes, because they say that they were watching you when you were at the bungalow. Oh, that would be John and that Joe's bungalow yeah. in London. And um, yeah. they say that you were very active and busy, yeah. and they were watching you, and um, you enjoyed what you did, um, you've often thought how nice it would be if you could have a bungalow. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And um, do you know who Lil is? Lil? Yeah. Yeah. On this side? Yes. There's some woman that keeps pushing in here. She's telling me things about you. And she says, you tell him that I'm Lil or Lily. Yeah. And she sends her love and blessings to you. Oh, bless her as well. Thanks, Mickey. But um, you're friendly with that fella then with the bungalow, are you? Well, yeah, yeah. You could, you could say that, yeah. Well, he's but, a nice... Well, he, he keeps being mistaken for me dad. He doesn't like it very much. Yes, yeah. He does what? He keeps being mistaken for me dad, you know. When we walk out together, we keep thinking about how his dad is like. You see, what I don't understand is like a beating about the bush. I'm sticking my neck up. I think you too. You know, you're very nice people and all that, but... Uh, are you expecting too much from people connected with a circle? Uh. <laughs> oh dear, possibly. You see, it's a pity in a way because they tell me to tell you that both of you have spiritual endeavours and they, you have spiritual work that they want to do and achieve with you and through you. They know there have been problems but they say they don't want you to shut the door. They want you to go forward. They won't shut the door. And, the, and the, I think they're trying to, and I don't quite know how, but they say they're going to open up a door for you, but it will involve you with other people. Yes. Yes. We're waiting to be directed. We won't shut the door. Have either. you got a daughter? Me? No. Well, this is funny because someone here is laughing and saying, as for the girl, what do you think of the girl? I know who that is. Hey? I know who it is. On your side? Uh, no. no. Hey? If I'm thinking who it is, no. She's on your side. Well, this must be cute because they're telling me, what do you think about the girl? And this is definitely a girl on your side and who is in some way associated or connected, not necessarily a daughter. I do look upon a child as my daughter, yes. Hold on. <sighs> dear, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to confuse you. <laughs> you're quite sure that it's not a young girl who sometimes comes to your house? Yes, I think that's what you're on. And yes. is she a friend of a son or something? No, she's my cousin's daughter. Well, I don't know why they keep on about this. I'm bewildered. I don't know why they can't tell me more direct. But there's someone who comes to your place, and it's a girl, a young woman, and they're a bit concerned about her. Are you sure that isn't the mother? Because there's only four years between us, and we do talk a lot. No, definitely sure. not. This is a youngish woman in comparison. And they are concerned about it. Could you give me a rough age? And they keep on about What did you say? And someone, Ellie. Hi, did you say? Nell, Helen, who's Nell? I, that I don't think they understand someone
Whitefeather. Hmm? Whitefeather. Whitefeather. come speak. Whitefeather come speak. Whitefeather bring blessing great spirit to children. Whitefeather come say great hope. One day do work of spirit. Whitefeather bring power, much power. You know brother and sister. Whitefeather have great desire to help brother and sister. Whitefeather say, Father, the Spirit, make all things possible. You not think moment possible to very much. But I say, white feather say, many things get to be, many things change, many things happen. Yes. We want you to know, brother and sister, that we got great hope of the future of the work of the Spirit with the both of, both of you. But you must not lose faith in yourselves and the power of the Spirit. Yes. We no lose faith in you. You got great faith in you. We want you to know, brother, I got great faith in you too. Thank you go forward in strength, the great spirit. You not lose heart, huh? No. We no good English, huh? I <coughs> learn better words. I understand, yeah. Thank you very much. He's been very much around you lately, you know. Oh, has he? Well, have I'm you been conscious of his presence? No, Mickey, I'm afraid I haven't. Well, he I says I'm why. a bit thick. He said I'm a bit thick. <laughs> I don't know why you should think that. Well, he told me I always was. <laughs> well, in a way, physically it's meant that. <laughs> 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 I was going to say mentally, but I must have that. <laughs> now, I think you felt you depended on too much, didn't you? Yeah. Well, that's understandable, but he's around you. Oh, it's lovely. And there's someone here called Arkwright. Someone keeps pushing in here. No, no, no. no it's all right. <coughs> I'm not bothered. You won't remember and know everything all at once. I hope so. There's a young fella here, the sailor. She says his name is Arkwright. Oh, I got that muddle. <laughs> Wait a minute. His name is Wright. And he was on a ship called the Ark, did you say? Do you represent two circles, you lot, then? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. we do. Yeah. Yes, you obviously do, because although you all blend very well and link up all right, it's as if there's two distinct groups, you know. It's rather odd. Yeah, one's a healing group, making one's a circle. Yeah, maybe it is, but I, I'm not... Um, there's a, one was a Dr. Schmidt here now. He's not... Um, he's a German, I think. He worked with Les Mickey, didn't he? Do what? He used to work with Les. The German doctor. Used to do what? Work with Les. Did he? I don't mm -hmm. know. Well, I think Matt we was. have a, a German doctor in our team of uh, spirit helpers. I'm ever so interested in that young couple. Well, not that young, but, you know, um, <laughs> I, I think you two, you must not stress this as a size yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't spell that, you? Well, you know what I mean. I know you've got high ideals and all that, which is all very noble. Well, press are too high sometimes. Do what? Press are too high sometimes. No, I don't think we're going to ever have too high, but um, I don't know how to put this without sounding wrong. I think you're both very sweet and all that, but you mustn't expect too much of other people. No. Do you feel they don't always come up with scratch or something? <laughs> <laughs> I think more so you're mean than Robin. Do what? I think more so you're mean than Robin. He's got very high ideals. Very. I must be, I don't know what you said. <laughs> What's the accent? I said that Robin has got very high ideals. Yeah, I can appreciate that, yeah. but, um, you know, I wish I knew how to put things. But, see, I think Robin and that is a nice bloke and all that, and you're nice and all that, but I think you'll have to accept that some people may not be quite what you're hopeful and, uh, yeah. you know, no one's perfect. No, we And know. everyone's <laughs> got their weaknesses. Yeah, we yeah. know. And I know you want a circle which is of a high standard and all that, 
and I think it could come. Mm -hmm. But um, you've got to, well, oh dear, how does one put it without sounding bad? <laughs> <laughs> That one's perfect, mate. Yeah, no. we, we know that. No, mate. Keep tripping over me halo every day, you know. Do what? So I trip over me halo every day. Oh, it must cost you a lot of brillo. It does. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I'm only kidding, mate. Yeah, I know, mate. <laughs> Actually, the horror emanations, as you call it, are very good. Oh, bless you. Not only with you, mate, but no, with all no. on them here. I, I mean, old Harry, for instance, said, oh, you can't help <laughs> laughing. He's moaning a bit at times and all the rest on it, but he's a good soul, and he's never satisfied, are you, Harry? I'm, I am. I'm always moaning. I never get it what I want, you know. Well, it depends on what you want. Perhaps you haven't made it possible, perhaps you haven't earned it. Maybe, a possibility. More than Don't you know that? <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of laughing. It takes all kinds of it, mate. Of course it does. <laughs> but uh, when I set out to do a thing, I like to get it done. Yeah. I don't like to be held up. And to me, I'm being held up. <laughs> Only because I'm too dim to see it, doesn't it? I could say, but I better not. Well, it's all right, you say it. I don't mind. Most people without realising it are often their own enemy. <coughs> yeah, I can understand that. And you, it's better to go slow and sure than fast and break your neck. Well, you know what's worried me, Nick, Mickey? Right from the start of coming into the organisation has been my age. All thought, why should I be over 60 before I started into it? Why do you ignore it from the age of 18? Well, perhaps you don't. It's always worried me that. Well, I could say, but um, maybe you've got quite a while to go yet. Yeah, I know that. But still, it seems to me it sort of seems queer. I've wasted all these years where I could have helped people and uh, been too selfish to think about other people. Well, that's your attitude about it, but, mm. and you're welcome to it. But the point is, you may do more in perhaps 20 years than a lot of people have done in a lifetime. Mm -hmm. You can't judge in that way. You can't go by time as time itself is an illusion. The point is that you probably had to for you had to get into a present state and it's taken you a hell of a long time getting there. Yeah, I guess I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a long time, too too long. But still that again we've got But then again that may not have been altogether your fault. No. May have been circumstances beyond your control. Yeah, I understand that. I mean, you, you, you say you've got to also have someone behind you to give you a bit of a push. Yeah, because I'm a bit... Of a and if you've got someone who's pulling in the other direction, how are you? Yeah, true. Well, I'm a bit lazy, you must admit it, aren't I? Well, you said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, don't you? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't profess to know everything about everybody, do I? I mean, some of you lot have only just met. And if it weren't for the contacts I'm making with people around and about you, I couldn't perhaps do much. I can tell by your horrid emanation to some extent, but that's not everything. Anyway, it's not time. Yeah, still, I, I ought to progress, Mickey, yeah. Well, you think you ought to, and I think you ought to, but whether you will is up to you. What I could say. <laughs> You're a bit of a case you are, mate. Thank you. <laughs> You don't live near the sea, do you? Um? I do. Someone here talking about the seaside and about some place. What did you say about that? Do you tell me and I'll tell him. <laughs> Come and do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep on. I wonder why they expect me to do it all the time. I wish they'd do it themselves. <laughs> Sometimes I muddle it up. <laughs> Wish you'd shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Honestly, mediums. Give you the willies. <laughs> Mind you, he's all right as mediums go, but. God, blimey. I couldn't work with some of them. Well, wait a minute. Oh, <sighs> 
I can hear you, Dad, yes. Arthur. Thank you, I can hear you. I've been standing here for I don't know how long, waiting for an opportunity with such a crowd of people. I just wanted you to know I was here. Mother sends her love. Right, thanks very much. I wonder what, what had happened here sometimes. Keep talking, keep talking. Mm -hmm. well, uh, well, well, Dad, how do you find it in your new life? You find it happy? Why? What's wrong with me? No, nothing exactly wrong with you, but you haven't been too well, but you're a lot better now, aren't you? Yes, I'm a lot better, and thank I'm you. Helping you and thank you, thank you to the now people you on your better, side. Now you're going to stay where you are. Pardon? Am I going to stay where I am? He said, are you going to stay where you are? Uh, in what way do you mean, Dad? Are you going to move, Harry? Oh, well, I'm not thinking him at the moment. I can't afford it. I know, but not the part long back. You know, there was some idea about you might be making a change. I wondered if you would going to do anything to well, stay put. No, I've done nothing. I have had it in mind uh, to go into an old people's place, but I haven't done anything I, about I, it as yet. I think you'd be silly to make a change. I think you're better off as you are. Oh, Knowing you, you'd never settle anywhere else. You stay where you are. I'll do that. Floss, Floss, Flory. Floss? Flory's with Yes, and yes. I found Flory's and Florence's here, and also Charlie. We're all here, you know. Mother sends her love. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. Your pop. He's got a crowd of people with him. Some of them probably kicked the bucket before you was born. I don't know. Oh, that's quite crowd on them. And there's a man here who comes to you who was a cripple. He ain't now, but when he was on your side, mm -hmm. he had one leg shorter than the other. And he had a sort of club foot. But you might not remember him. But no, he... don't bring him to mind, Mickey. No, I'm not bothered. And evidently, uh, he was a friend of your father's. Mm -hmm. Do you know who Kit is? Uh, Kitty. K Kit, or Kit, Kitty, Kit. yeah, well, Kate, Kitty. Yes, well, on earth or in his birth? Well, they're talking about Kit and Kate, yeah. and your father says they've been very concerned about Kit. Yeah, that's my daughter. And um, is she causing you any worry? Uh, well, well, all well I can the tell point, you... all I can put it this way, she, she lives on her own, she's not as happy and content as she should be. Well, all I know is what your father couldn't say. He tried to get through more, but he says, tell him, he says, that we're doing everything we can in regard to Kit, and we're trying to help Kit. Thanks very much, Mickey. Of course, you're a bit of a conundrum, you know. And um, also, there's a lady here connected with you. There's a lot of your people here. There's a woman here who was going bald, and she used to have to wear a wig, or at least some sort of... Things she used to plonk on her head. Yeah, well, that reminds me of my old Aunt Mary. Well, she's here and she's laughing all over her chops. <laughs> and she <laughs> says she's got a good head of hair now. Good. But sometimes she used to put this switch on, or whatever it is, mm -hmm. and it was a bit crooked. <laughs> and uh, she's laughing. She says, you remember her because of this wig thing. That's right. And a walking stick. Oh, she didn't think about a walking yeah, stick. she did, huh? You, you attract a lot of people. You're a good psychic, you know, but you doubt yourself. Thank you, Mickey. You're a funny bloke, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody says that. You can't make me out one minute to another, you know. I'll uh, put it this way. I'm in a good humour one minute and in a bad humour the next. And I'll start... All I usually tell people what I think. He doesn't always please, but... Oh, that that doesn't is. make good for good friends, does it? It doesn't, no. I all. mean, I don't believe people should be two-faced, but there's such a thing as being what you ain't, diplomatic. the first time I've been told that, Mickey. Well, you ain't very diplomatic, are you? I am, quite often. I mean, if you, if, you, if you put a squib under people, they don't help, does it? <laughs> it doesn't, I agree. I mean, I'm not saying you should, you know, sort of be two-faced, but 
I think a lot depends on how you do it or how you say it. You see, you're no angel. Oh, and in a way, you're your own, um, well... Worst enemy, shall we say. I nearly said it, but... <laughs> <laughs> you see, you've got some wonderful qualities, and you've got a very good instrument. But you do sort of put a spoke in your wheel, don't you? Oh, I do, but I often... Well, oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try anyhow. <laughs> you know, you can't put a young head on old shoulders, Mickey. Do what? You can't put a young head on old shoulders. I uh, could say something, but I won't. <laughs> <coughs> no, I thought I'd put it this way, that I've gone into... But well, you should have reached the age of discretion. <laughs> Old shoulders or not. <laughs> you know, on a young age, you can excuse the young for not being very discreet, but not your age. Well, I'm learning to be, to be, be more discretion well, than all I want. have a long time, then, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> I know he does. You're a case you are, but I like you. Thanks very much, Mr. You're, you're a good too. soul, really, and you mean well. But you've got to be a little bit more diplomatic. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to do that from now on, Mickey. No, you should. I don't expect everyone to love everyone. It's asking the impossible. But the point is, you should try to see the other person's point of view, even if you don't agree with it, and make allowances. Not everybody's the same. And sometimes you say, so what? That's the way they are. So what? They've got some good points, you know. You mustn't sort of, well, you know, you, you've got to sort of be a little bit more diplomatic. I'll try and make <laughs> Especially if you want to do the work. Well, that's one thing I want to do, it's part of dedicating myself to... Well, you wouldn't be able to do much if you started upsetting people, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Quite true. It ain't been worth your coming, has it? <laughs> it's been worth every minute, Mickey. Uh, oh, you can't even really laugh it. Hey, you know, I tell people what I believe. Because I'm enjoying myself. Well, that's good, isn't it? Because <laughs> it is. But you know, some people, they give you the willies, don't they? I mean, when you go to the church and the medium up there is all doled up for the nines, or, you know, <laughs> some of these women with their false eyelashes and their wigs. And they go, oh, bless your friends, you do. Know. Oh, do, do. You know, all put it on, don't they? I suppose they do a good job, really, but they give me the pip on them. <laughs> uh, there was one woman up there, I went to a church, and she uh, it got it laughing. She was giving all messages, you see. And she said, I want to come to the lady over there, you know, all this posh business. And she described a lady standing beside her. I looked, I couldn't see anything. You know, I thought, well, probably she's seeing on a different level, see. <laughs> and then she tried to give someone else something to see, and I thought, well, I don't know. So I thought, well, I wonder if she can see me, see? So I ran up and down the aisle, I did, and shouted and waved my hands. She didn't see me. I wonder if she was sarky. I can't help laughing, you know, it takes all kinds to make the world, doesn't it? But I'm sure some of these poor old biddies, if they did see something, they dropped out dead with pride. Be on your hands, then. Eh? Old <laughs> biddies. <laughs> No, I mean, you know, I shouldn't, should I? But, I mean, they mean well, but sometimes I think they put a foot in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what about the gimme, gimme, gimme? The what? The gimme, gimme, gimme. Do you mean messages? Yeah, I mean, you sit, you stand on the platform, you look, you look at the people in the hall, and you can see their faces. Gimme, 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 gimme. And they don't have to look at the bottom of them, don't Yeah, they? well, you see, this is one of the big problems, isn't it? I mean, I'm not getting at anyone then, because, I mean, I realise... I mean, if you've lost your son in a car crash or, or you've lost your wife or your husband, then naturally in the beginning you go and hope that there's some truth in it and you might get a message and a bit of comfort. That I understand. But a lot of these people go on for years and years and years, don't they? And they sit there every Sunday night hoping they're going to get a message. That's right. And they don't really need a message. And often the messages they want are very material. But none of them or hardly any of them are interested in the things of the Spirit. Quite true. And that's what we find very distressing. Yes, I mean, when I come here with old legs, you know, 
I've got a job to do, I do it as best I can, I don't always succeed. Sometimes I get through individual evidence and personal things and people come through and help, you know. And sometimes you get guides and helpers and sometimes it's on a higher spiritual level. A lot will depend on many things. But the vast majority of people who seem to go to the spiritual churches, they're not interested in spiritual truth and philosophy, they're only interested in the message. And the more material it is, the better they like it. Yeah, exactly. They expect to be told they're going to win the polls. Yeah, well, if it ain't that, you know. I mean, I can understand a woman who's lost her husband, as you call it, you know, uh, physically, and she's worried about whether she's going to be able to make ends meet or whether she should sell the house or whatever. I can understand her missing her husband's advice and hoping that if it comes through, he might be able to advise her. And often they do if they can. But you get so many spiritualists who say, oh yes, you know, I believe in life after death and all the rest of it. And they sit there Sunday after Sunday in their Sunday best, you know. And even when their message isn't for them and the medium's in a bit of a muddle, you know, they say, oh friend, I think that's for me, you know, <laughs> put their hand up. Yeah. I call them the body snatchers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Vicky, well, can I ask you a question? Well, do you think, as we're now approaching the uh, turn of the century, that spiritualism has got to move out of the churches? they have got to do what, mate? Spiritualism has got to move out of the churches. Well, I mean, it's not for me to say in a way. You ask a pertinent question, as you call it, yeah. so I'll give you my answer as I believe it. You see, the fundamental truth is behind all religions. If there's no life after death, there's no point in religion anyway. And yeah. after all said and done, all religions, more or less, uh, talk, talk about life to come. And look what happens after so-called death, you see. But I think the trouble is with the creeds and the dogmas, they separate people. Yes. And in fact, they build barriers. So that's the whole tragedy of, of religion, really. Yes. When you get back to history and go through history, you find that throughout time itself, the religions have been in not necessarily always a good thing. Sometimes they've even been a curse. They've separated human beings. They've brought about all sorts of terrible happenings, all through stupidity and jealousy and pettiness and dogma and creed and all the rest of it. I think spiritualism, to some extent, will have to obviously be linked with churches, yeah. but not in an orthodox sense. No. I think that, that the spiritualist movement's got to give its own way of, you know, truth without the aid of all the things that they brought in from other religions. Yes, I see what you, I see your yeah. point. Yeah. I do, yeah. I mean, after all said, I'm not anti-anybody or anti-anything. No, no. But the point is that w w what we're trying to do is to break down the barriers that separate people. Yeah. Well, and barriers, what separates so. people more than anything else, apart from politics, is religion, ain't yeah. it? Yeah. And uh, you've got Catholics against Protestants and, you know, all the rest on it. And there's so much hatred, malice and intolerance between religious organisations. Though they share a fundamental truth, uh, they don't necessarily go to any great length to try and prove it. They talk vaguely about life to come, what will happen, particularly if you happen to believe in that particular brand of religion. Well, it's yeah. a matter of whether you like going home instead of dares, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's all in the little book where you can just look it up, can't you? No, I just think that we... Well, we are presenting to you as best we can, not yeah. all successfully, uh, the truth as we know it to be, that life continues, we are not dead, we're very much alive, we don't suddenly become angels, we're not necessarily um, floating around playing harps and all the rest of it, we're real people. And your mum and your dad and your brother and your sister, whoever it happens to be, who's only been over here a reasonably short time, is still very much the same as you remember them. They've made some progress, of course they have. But they ain't suddenly become angels, they're not separated from you, and they will gradually evolve as you will when you come. But it will take aeons, perhaps, as you turn time. Time is an illusion anyway, any. Yes. Anyway, let's get on with the job, mate. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit of a case you are, God. Uh, I like you, but uh, oh, again, like you too. I could say, but I bet not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. No, poor old Harry. Oh, you man, you know, oh, gosh, I've here all day. Ah, yes, all right then. Ah, yes, I told him. Which one's it for then? <laughs> Stop sniffing. <laughs> Sorry, Mickey, I can't help it. Now he's a nice, he's a nice. Hmm? 
Harry. Hello? You all here? Jerry. 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 My name's Gerald. Oh, Gerald. Gerald. Come on, Gerald. Come along. I should remember my name. Do we know you, Gerald? Come on, Gerald. Who have you come to speak to, Gerald? You're very welcome, Gerald. Who have you come to speak to? Come along. That might be next to you, Joe. Yes, Mikey? Have you been doing platform work? Uh, I've read a lesson once. Do, read a lesson? That was helpful, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got a long way to go before I do that, Mickey. Well, maybe you think you have, and I'm not saying you have, I haven't, but, um, I don't know. I could be nice. I don't understand. There's several things going on here, and I'm trying to sort them out. Yes, yes, and then one of them. Building, are you sort of extending or something? Yes, but I think they're having an extension on the one glove. Yeah, well, this is what there's an old gentleman involved. A man here very deeply involved and interested in you. Yes. And he says he's been very interested in the conversation. Oh, and right. evidently you've been thinking about having some alteration or extension done, haven't you? Yes. Is it to this bungalow then? That's right, yeah. I think they have another room put on the back of the bungalow. Do what? Have another room added onto the bungalow. Yeah, well that's what he's on about then. Because yeah. he says that, um... It does present a problem though. Oh? Wait a minute. Well, we've got no money, that's, that's what it means. <laughs> well, that's a problem, ain't it? That's a big problem. <laughs> what about the missus then? What, what about it? Well... I don't mind. It's all right, you don't mind, but... Wait a minute. I think we need an extension. Do I think we need another room. I'm not saying you don't need it. No one's saying you ain't going to get it. No. But... You've got to laugh it. Here, have you done anything about... I don't know, it's just all very material. Oh, what did you say? Oh, Les is telling me things. Well, what's he been up to? He seems very interested in you two. Oh, that's nice of him. Um, uh, well, I don't understand this. What's the problem, Mickey? Understand it, but you'd have to slap me down if I'm all wrong. Well, I've tried. Do you know anything about two accounts? You no. Know? Bank accounts? Uh, well, I suppose one is a bank account. Is the other a building society? No, we haven't. No, we've only got no. bank accounts. Do I? We've only got a bank account because the bungalow is paid for. Well, I'm sorry if I'm sticking my neck out, but, um. I, uh, He's laughing now, as if it's a joke. Well, come, what's he trying to tell us then? Do I? What's he trying to tell us? Well, he says one thing at a time, but he says that there's no reason why you shouldn't go ahead. But he says he doubts if it can be done this year. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. no. And he says that, um, give yourselves a little time. And he definitely says, I'm sticking my neck up. You say you've got this banking account. But he's also on about a building thing, society. Well, that's where he'd probably have to borrow the money from to get the extension built. Well, would it cost all that much? Oh, three, four thousand, I should think. Oh. A lot of money. Well, he's laughing. He's got a weird sense of room. He has, yeah. Very <laughs> and he's very fond of the pair of you. Oh, that's lovely. But at the same time, he's, um, he's talking in riddles to me. <laughs> He okay. says, if the shoes fit, wear them. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what he means? No, oh, that's his Liverpool sense of humour. I never could understand it. His what? His Liverpool sense of humour. I could never understand it. Well, I don't know. Ask him to translate it into English, Mickey. Are you too fond of each other, then? Who? Oh, us two. 
Yes, yeah. We got married. And he's laughing. He says, Mum, and he's talking about Never mind. He's a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> Who, me or him? Well, both of you are quite mad. There's a tie between the two of you, see? I know he's a nice bloke, old Les, but he's a bit of a character. Yes. He's pleased. Okay. I don't understand it. Are you wearing something of his? No, no. Not you, him. Me? No. I know who is, yes, I know who is. But he's laughing, he says, ha ha. He says, you pass a few of my bits and pieces round. Yes, yes, yes. There's someone in this room yes, that's wearing yes. something belonging to him. Yes, quite yes. True. yes. Quite true. Quite true. That's right, that's, that's me. Robin. And yes. he yeah, says, I'm so am I. He so says, are you. Yes. He says, oh, well. they're good for you, boys. He says, after all, wait, you, Sonny, I'll finish with it. Oh, thank you. Yes, that. he oh, doesn't yes. have to go to the tailors or anything. <laughs> he, <laughs> he's a bit of a case of man, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. That's very evidential. Nice to hear from him, isn't it? Yeah, he's a case. I'm very fond of him. But he's, um, I don't know, he's a bit puzzling. Did he have a heart condition? He did, yes. And did he come sudden at the end, then? Yeah, but it, it wasn't through the heart. No, I didn't no. say it was. No, he did come sudden Fairly at the end. quickly, yes. yes. Because he says that he has no regrets. He said all he wants is for you to carry on the work, and he sends his love and blessings. And he's very interested in, well, all of you, really. And um, he, he's very amused about Robin, but a bit annoyed with him. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why is that, Mickey? I don't know exactly. Not annoyed, perhaps is the wrong word. But you see, love, it's all very well to have high standards. Yeah. But you've also got to sometimes come off the top of the mountain. Oh, yeah, I think I, I, think I have come off the top of the mountain. Yeah, because Les had high standards, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. He says, uh, step by step. Yes, yeah. He seems rather surprised and it pitched you. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get that. Yeah, it doesn't fit you. I think I know what he's talking about, what you're wearing yeah. today. Oh, I see, yeah. yes, yes. Well, I've got the shoes on, actually. Yeah. He says, size what? <laughs> Ten. Ten. He says, I thought you were only nines. No. Tens? Ten. And what about old Harry's outfit then? Oh, oh well, that's a bit private, what I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit what? A bit private, what I've got old ladies in here. Well, I had a pair of them, they were too big. Oh, I've got them. Ha 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 you don't need long johns now. That's right, I took them off and put his on. Because he's <laughs> laughing, he was watching you, and he's, ha ha ha, he's got you taped. Oh, he has. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, he's a case, isn't he? He's a good sort. He loves you all very much. Oh, lovely. And he Thank wants you. you all to work and pull together where possible, you know. Well, we're trying to work, so we hope that we are doing well. Well, we carry on the group. We are, yes. Yeah. <sighs> By the way, you've gone. I, oh, that's funny. Mm -hmm. What is she on about this car? Car? Car. C A R. Think yeah. you've seen and someone drove. Yeah, what about it? Which one? Oh, I don't know. Have you done a switch? <coughs> well, not really, no. Well, yes, we are using my yeah, one more than John. Because he says that um, he notices that. Um, what did you say? Oh yeah, yes, I've changed the car, yes. He says, you, you got rid of the old car, there's a different one, you've got, you did a switch. Yeah, because the yeah. old you, one's falling You've got a bit of money off the old one, and then you invested in this other one. That's right, yes. And that's, a, that's not a new one. It is. But well, he's laughing all over his teeth. Yeah. Laughing all over his teeth. <laughs> well, what's he on about this new car business? <coughs> I sold the old one, bought the smaller one. Wait a minute, he's got a good sex in my room, I go. He says, John's all right. Thank you. Nice you you've got a new car then, you know what? Uh, I've got a car, but it's not new, no. I'm trying to sell it. Well, he's laughing, he knows about you and your cars and your little setup, and, oh, and he also says about the chimney. Chimney? 
Tak to už je nějaký čím. Nebo to je čím. Nebo to je špatný, to je špatný. No, to je špatný. We knew Les quite well. We got a chimney in our bungalow. And he says, what's happened with your chimney? Have you had it blocked in? No, we haven't had it blocked in. No. Margaret? Yes, that's me. Somebody here, hold on, apart from the ladies, somebody else here was on about you. I want to speak to Margaret. Hmm? How are you? Hello, hello, how are you? Oh, I'm so glad you've come. Oh, oh I'm so happy to be here. Who are, are you? you? Can't you hear what I'm saying? Yes. Margaret. Oh, oh I'm here with Dad. Oh, yes, mother, yes. yes. Oh, yeah. I've been standing here waiting for a chance. Well, Reggie's mother, aren't yes, you? Yes, I've been yes. waiting and hoping and praying. Lovely. I might be able to have a word with you. I just want you to know I'm here. We're all together now. George, we're all here. Well, George is there, is he? Since his remembrances. Oh, I do wish I could speak better. Oh, my You're speaking love. very well oh, this time. And I come to your meetings. Oh, do you? Lovely. Is Dad there? Bob. Bob. Bob? Bob's speaking. Oh, yes. Bob here. I want to speak. Hello, hello. Hello. Come along, friend. Who do you want? I am in no way related. 
I merely one of a whole number of souls that gather round to help where possible. We have such great faith and such great hope for the group. You must be patient, know that we're doing everything in our power. Each one of you are necessary to the development. We just want you to persevere. Yes, we will. I'm trying to tell you don't know. Oh, you'll be lucky. I know. I can't see the dog. I don't know, it's extraordinary. The number of people that join in. I suppose it's because of the fact we're all circles and things. Oh, Larry's a bit of a case, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> well, you are really, aren't you, Larry? Quite true, I am, Mickey. I'm not speaking to you, you know. Oh, Violet, she's quiet, isn't she? Yes, oh. I'm waiting for you to talk to me. Oh, sorry, <laughs> boy. Do you think you've been in the cold then? Yes. <laughs> you, you see it and get the other things. Why don't you give out more? Well, I do as much as I can. I do um, take services. I know, but I think sometimes feel what they tell me, that there are moments when you hold back a bit. Perhaps you feel that you're not quite sure or certain, but... They're very pleased with you, but um, I think you've got to go further afield. I don't know whether you feel you want to or not. Oh, yes. yes. They're trying desperately to open doors, and they seem to think that, you know, you must not be static. Well, I'm trying not to be with you. Is she out? <laughs> no. Where are you going, Mickey? I not have much success. Oh, I'm going to give you the paper. <laughs> 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 oh, you've got a hand there, Mickey. Yeah, I know, I'm trying to touch. You have a little girl comes to you, Vi. Have I? Oh, Do you take a circle? Yes. There's this little girl, haven't they? It's been around quite a while. All these other people. This little girl's a colour child. Yes. Have you ever been told about her? Perhaps you haven't. Yes, you can tell we have a little colour girl. Huh? She comes round your circle quite a lot. <coughs> have you got sorted out, Fifi? Well, I don't know how to answer. Ha ha, Fifi! That's a new one. You've got a case, ain't you, girl? Am I? I don't know about that, I don't know everything, but I think um, <laughs> from what old Liz tells me, and he tells one plenty. Oh, does he? That's not very nice. <laughs> no, there's nothing radically wrong with you, you're all right. Thank you. But um, you're an old John, you're a couple, ain't you? That's nice. Thank you. A nice couple, didn't say otherwise, did I? No, you didn't. <sighs> Let's see, what have we got here? Oh, what about that then? Jam like a tin of sardines, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jim, Jim. Oh, Jim. He said you've got that thing jammed like a tin of sardines. Oh, oh. probably have. In that case, I hope your tape's running. Well, I think I'm hoping it is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Jim, Jim. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't judge everybody by yourself. I don't. <laughs> 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 you don't what? I don't drink often, me. You don't what? Drink often. Did you say often? Yeah. Just occasionally. Just occasionally. Ah, oh, see. What's your favourite spirit then, apart from us? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, brandy and lemon. <laughs> I can't help laughing. 
You're a bit of a case you are, Harry, ain't you? <laughs> bit of a turn. Mike, have you? No, wait a minute, don't forget it's funny, you must be shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> just going to talk to him. Can you hear me? Certainly can. You, you, you're not down to the dam smithy, are you? Mike, then. That's better. No, I wasn't aware that I was, anyway. Well, you didn't go to being left out, did you? No, no, you'd get round to me sooner or later, I'm sure. Well, it's not just something like that, it's some... Um, I don't know, it's very easy to say things and sometimes they're misinterpreted, but with you, I think it's a pity because I think you doubt yourself too much. Really? That's <laughs> odd. Do what? That's odd. Why should you say odd? Well, I've been accused of more overconfidence and been told to wait rather than to, to have doubts. No, I think you do, deep down inside you. I think you do receive, and what they tell me, you do get a great deal from our side, mentally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that sometimes you give out because you feel that's what you have to do, which you should do in any case. Mm -hmm. But you mustn't sort of hold back in any way. Although there may be those who advise you to hold back, but the point is that, of course, sometimes there can be complication, but they tell me they want you to go ahead. Right. Um, you see, I have to be, look, Ma, what did you say? They say that your mediumship is of a mental nature, and they just want you to give out as you get it. And don't worry about it, because even though sometimes some people may say they don't understand, there is a reason and a purpose. They are trying their utmost to give you picturization of mental impressions and also they're trying to help you. Do you feel sometimes if you're drifting away? Uh, yeah, yes and no, it's difficult to, uh, to define when you're drifting away and when you're not and if you are. Well, what I'm talking away. about is do you feel sometimes as if you're there and you're not completely there because they say they're trying to work with you and through you mentally and that you may find yourself in a sort of semi-trance state and they're trying to work through you in that way. That's what they want to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so, well, it's happened, uh, I think, on probably two occasions that I could recognise, that's all. Do you feel you're being held back then? No. You can be frank with me. Can I? <laughs> no, I... I uh, no, I don't feel I'm being held back. No, I don't, you know, feel consciously being pushed forward either. It's a, it's a very much a, a wait and let things develop situation. Well, this is it. But the point is that there are certain souls who are trying desperately to work with you and through you and using you, and also for healing. There's a power to heal there. Mm-hmm. But I don't think that's necessarily going to be the old work. You may do it, but. I feel whether you accept this or not, eventually, not yet, they want you to do the platform. Well, that's precisely the point there. You see, you said eventually, not yet. Well, this is what I'm just sort of hanging on in there, waiting for something or other to develop. Yeah, I don't course. think yet. And from what they tell me, you see, that you can do it, you could do it, but at the same time, they're trying to strengthen you in some mm. way, and the time will come when you will whether you expect it or don't expect it, you do in a kind of way, but it's as if you'll be pitchforked yeah. rather than, you know, it's extraordinary. I can't tell you exactly how or why, but they say when the moment is ripe, it will happen in a way which may well surprise you. And they say if you have the faith and the confidence, which you obviously have, and they say they will work with you and through you. And they will use you in a sort of semi-trance state because you'll find yourself spouting and saying things which are not necessarily of yourself, as if you're being impressed or inspired. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you mustn't hold back. No. And you know you have a clergyman who helps you. No. Well, there is. It may not be apparent to you at the moment, but there is a man who comes to you who they say hopes eventually to be able to use you to speak and to 
uplift people. He's not religiously minded in the same sense now, but mm. when on earth, he obviously, from what they tell me, he was a member of the cloth. And, um, wait a minute, what did you say? Have you been reading any books to do with the spiritual side of things? Not recently. Well, I want to choose. Well, this man's. I'm not saying that you. What did you say? I think this man, apart from the others that are there, are very anxious that you should develop and evolve in the sense of being used in a public way and it's obvious that they want to impress you and a lot of your mediumship will be by a kind of form of, of overshadowing <coughs> more than anything else perhaps but, mm -hmm. but um, I don't know it's a bit of a conundrum here because have you also been sitting for physical? No. Because there is a physical force and energy there it's as if that you could go in two directions, or perhaps both, but uh, it, it doesn't then seem at the moment that there's so much likelihood of the physical circle, but I think, you see, you have got a great deal of power and vitality, and uh, I think at the moment you're sort of, well, not standing still exactly, but uh, what would you say? Come on then, you tell me, but I'd rather you do it. I think that's highly probable, but I doubt if I should be able to manage that now. Well, I can hear you. Uh, I, I, I don't think you quite realize, well, there's perhaps no reason why you should at this stage, but we have, uh, well, such a desire that eventually we shall be able to manipulate <coughs> and utilize the power that is abound in the future. I particularly am very anxious to use you in the form of an instrument that I can use to speak to people. I, I'm very anxious to help and not only to give them the realization of this truth in the sense that life continues after so-called death, but I do want very much to give more knowledge and experience to people of what life is like on this side so much is avoided and not necessarily deliberately but very few from this side of life uh, seem to either be able or have the opportunity perhaps to give more detailed description of life of course, there are so many spheres of different um, levels according to one's aspiration, evolution, development. Uh, what applies in one case doesn't necessarily apply in another. Mm -hmm. Everything depends on the individual, of course. But I'm very anxious at some future date when I'm sure it will be possible uh, to work with you and through you. Uh, of course, the circle is a tremendous help in as much that it is the training ground to some extent. But I have envisaged that the possibility lying ahead is for the work on the platform where one might reach far more people. Uh, this is our desire, certainly mine. Of course, you have to be patient with these things. You have to be patient with yourself. Um, because when I was on your side, I'm afraid I was rather high-bound by, well, background, upbringing, training, goodness knows what else. I was vaguely sort of aware of spiritualism. When I say vaguely aware, I remember reading some articles by the Velo, Mr. Velo, and who, um, who was a member of the faith too, but who became very deeply involved in psychic spiritualistic matters, wrote several books, uh, which I found very interesting, but I wasn't really convinced, of course, but um, 
Now, being on this side, I can't help otherwise and be assured of the reality of these things, but I'm hoping at some later date. By the way, my name is Elliot, the Reverend Elliot. Elliot. I shall come to you again. Not necessary here. Of course, I shall if you were to come here again, but um, as a kind of evidential contact, I will come and make a link with you somewhere quite separate and apart from this place as a kind of proof to you because uh, I realize not that you are adapting Thomas but uh, I do think it's important in the initial early stages mm -hmm. uh, to have evidence for these things. I will make a contact with you miles from here. Uh, we'll, we'll see about that. But come again if you can. Certainly. Uh, but uh, bless you. Don't worry. Just go on. I will bless you too. All the best. I must go. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. I was waiting. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I'm afraid that I have to go in and I have to go. But I tell you, I'm going to I hope no one's, no one's disappointed. Clean your chins up, double ones as well. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, bye bye. And Harry? Yes? I well, never mind. Well, you didn't say it. Bye, Mitch. Cheerio. 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 And all the best. And I'll come to your circle so you ain't getting on. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Bye <laughs> well, it's really very hard, very hard, isn't it, in the end? I wondered at first if we were going to get anything. Yeah. Uh, uh, mm. I'll put the light on in a minute. moment the light will seem very bright of course. Oh, Mickey was very funny at times. Yes. Yeah. He took to you too, didn't he? <laughs> Not a bit disappointing. What? Not a bit disappointing. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> Lovely afternoon. Yeah. Quite a long time, I thought. You Quite a lot of we listened to one of his tapes that uh, yeah, got through all night, Joe yeah. lent us, yeah. and uh, yeah. he was on well, some well, 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 there, and we sort of fell in love with him then. Yeah, he's such a character. Robin had to keep stopping the tapes because I was laughing that loud. We just were missing half of us. <laughs> Did you get your table out? Uh, I've got one side, I don't know if the other side is there. Really, I have another one. Little Annie comes on when you take it. Would you mind very much if I disappeared off now? No, no, no. no. Got to, uh, to get back. <coughs>